when you think about it, if you want to revitalize your sex life, you know, yeah. if, if you want an uh, amazing sex life, you want to be a fire, you have to take care of yourself. Mm -hmm. So what does that look like taking care of yourself as a woman? Yeah. And what I love about these points, because we're not talking about take care of yourself independently. No, no, we're not talking about that. We're talking about it, like, like I was going to say, I, these, all these tips are from us personally that have really helped us revolutionize our sex life. And so this last one, taking care of yourself is really important. You know yourself, you know, the foods that are going to make you feel crappy. You know, when you don't, you know, exercise how you feel about yourself. You know the time of the month, women, that you feel terrible or you're about to, you know, have your period and you're just feeling bloated. Here's the thing. We probably look the same to our husbands, bloated and not bloated. They could care less. And you know why I know this? <laughs> because I was like nine months pregnant and my husband still wanted to have sex with me. And I was like, yep. Something's wrong with you. Yep. But they don't care. They see us differently than we see ourselves. But we hinder ourselves when we don't take care of ourselves. If you're eating fast food and going through McDonald's all of the time, I'm going to tell you right now, you are going to feel terrible about yourself when you're not going to the gym. And I'm not talking about you know, you need to be a size four, you need to have a six pack. That is not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, is you need to feel good about yourself. And it, 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 it takes work. It is your responsibility. You know what those things are. You know what you're supposed to be doing. And it's your responsibility to do it. Well, why don't you share a little bit of your story even right now yeah. as you have been feeling a certain way. So what are you doing about that? Yeah. So it's not even like, a lose weight thing for me I there there's been like some sort of underlying where I'm like and maybe I feel like this is for a lot of people where you are like chronically exhausted and so I have changed my diet like he said we were doing 75 hard I was working out twice a day I was just really trying to I was really in trying to be in tune with my body and making sure that like what I was doing was the right thing. And so, but I had to go to the doctor and I, I went last week really <clears throat> because the waiting list was so long. Um, but maybe there is a medication that you need. Maybe there is an underlying issue that an easy, it'll be an easy fix with the doctor. Maybe not an easy fix, but you can. You start moving in the right direction. Yeah, because it's important. It's not if just you, about you. It's about your kids. It's about your husband. It's not just about even sex, but we have to take care of ourselves to make sure that we're, that we can show up. Yeah. Because no one else is going to take care of you. Nobody else You can have do to it. take care of yourself. And if you're not taking care of yourself now, in the future, you're putting that responsibility on your kids Absolutely. as you get older because you're not healthy. Absolutely. So that's why we prioritize. Even one of my mottos or my, my mantras that I like have, I have a prayer list and it's like my mantras of the kind of man that I want to be. And one of those things is healthy. I want to be healthy physically, spiritually, mentally, emotionally. Like I want to be healthy in, in all aspects of life. And that's why it's so important for us, just like what you said, when it comes to whether it's going to the doctor, whether it's what, what we're eating, whether it's the physical, whether it's, you know, and it, for you, some of you might be like, well, I want to go to the gym. I just, I don't have the money to do it. I don't have the time to do it. Even start just going for a walk. So something we do, here's a little tip for you, uh, go for a walk after dinner. Mm -hmm. Now for me, I need that 45 minute workout. So that'll be my second one. And we'll just, we'll just walk and talk. And sometimes she gets distracted with the kids because they're wrestling and fighting and all the stuff, but then she catches back up. And we're talking and we're walking. Even that is going to make an impact in your health mm -hmm. and in the health of your marriage. Yeah. Yeah. So this is what we want to do. Okay. Um, if you're like, these are great. I don't know how to talk to my spouse about that. We have the solution for you. Below is a PDF for you on the three T's of communication. And so this is going to help you be able to talk to your spouse about these things uh, because maybe you've never even had the sex talk and we're going to have future episodes uh, about that. Uh, and then even on our very next one, we're going to be talking about, okay, what is allowed in the bedroom of a Christian marriage? What can I bring in? Can I bring in toys? Can I bring in videos? Can I, you know, like what can I actually bring? Can I bring in games? We already know you can bring in outfits. We just talked about that. So what can I bring in? We're going to talk about that on the next one.